Students in the auto body program at Morris High School have a very special opportunity to work on a car that will be displayed at the Las Vegas Concourse de Elegance. So, Diane, you, we lost communication before our last live show. I have questions. <laughs> One, is this car street legal? Go. Two, how many horsepower does the motor have? And three, will they allow you to squeeze the horn? Mm. So, yeah. Oh, first question it can hit the road, but they're going to put it uh, loaded up in a truck to get to Las Vegas. Second question, I'm looking for the guy who can answer that one. Oh, here he is. And then uh, third, I, I want to say, I'll, I'll let you do it. Here he is. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing, Manny? Doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Our anchor, Paul, was saying he's, he's got some questions. Uh, yeah. Is this car road ready? Can it hit the road? Oh, yeah. It started, it runs and drives. Um, it's got quite a process to get it started, but it runs and drives. I've seen it, and it smells great, too. Like, it hey. smells vintage. Yeah. Horsepower, I think, is what you were asking, Paul. Was... Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, Lenny? How fast can it go? Yeah, I think Steve knows. How fast yeah. can it go? Uh, he's, I think he said about, about 55 highest. Yeah, oh. but that's like going like 120. <laughs> no. Paul, Paul wants to know if we can honk the horn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there... yeah okay, oh, cool. 40. One of those really cool it's high a, It's a squeeze one. Look at it. Listen, the you get to squeeze horn. it. Yeah. Kind of like a, a hauga horn. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's going right. I was getting ready for something loud. That's cute. Yeah, it's down here. So cute. Interesting you're noting, though, Manny, that the driver would have to come around to get yeah. into this car, huh? Yeah, and usually if you had a car like this, you would have a driver. Yeah, yeah so you'd, you'd have a driver, and uh, he came with a car. So if you had one of these vehicles, you wouldn't drive it because the driver actually maintains the vehicle, changes flats. It's not something that, you know, in 1913, an everyday person would have, you know. And joining me right now is one of the students who took part in pinstriping in this car. Hi, Kevin. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So when did you learn this process? I learned how to pinstripe yesterday. Uh, Just lunch. yesterday, wow. At lunch? Oh, yeah. my goodness. What, to you, what is the most uh, interesting part of why you wanted to learn how to pinstripe something like that? The most interesting part is um, the designs that and the possibilities of pinstriping. Do you want to get into the field of automotive and paint classic cars, or, what's, or do you want to work on the engine? What's your take? Uh, I personally want to do both. Because nice. Mr. Cisneros uh, sparked the interest in both uh, repairing cars and pinstriping. Well, hopefully it'll uh, go well at the competition in Las Vegas for the Concord de, de Elegance in Las Vegas. This is the first time you guys are taking part in it, right, Manny? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, these all the, <clears throat> they've had some stuff there before. And then let's not forget, after that, there's also SEMA there is going to be there, too. So it's going to be a big, big month for... Can, can you elaborate just uh, really quickly here about the importance of the, you know, giving kids the chance to have hands-on experience and preparing them for the automotive industry? Oh, it's a big deal because they don't uh, realize the uh, uh, amount of, you know, you know, revenue that the automotive aftermarket industry has. And there's so many opportunities with it, you know, and you can make... A, a great living and uh, I'm glad that this school gets to introduce kids to that because it's not just you know doing body work and getting dirty there's a lot to it you know you could be there's Riddler winners and Pebble Beach there's tons of possibilities everybody needs cars and everybody needs paint so there you go. it's a good industry thank you yeah and it's it's in conjunction with the San Diego uh, Automotive Museum here he's Larry was talking to me earlier and he was talking about just uh, how these cars are donated to them and then uh, and then how they, uh, they donate it to the school for the kids to also work on as well. So it's an opportunity, a rare opportunity for students to work on a rare car. And you can see there on the live video, they're learning how to pinstripe things again. So it's, it's a lucrative business, I'm told, and kids need to jump on it if they have the creative touch. Uh, certainly here at Morris High School, they are more than happy to welcome students who are wanting to learn how to pinstripe classic cars like you see she's doing here. Guys, back Look to you. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. That's artistic. Yeah, do it. <laughs> that is an yeah. artist. How long is this process? Uh, it takes a while. It's just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's more about patience and having a sturdy hand. I bet. Wow. Sure would not do well. I don't have a sturdy hand. <laughs> well, what happens if yeah, you make a, a mistake? Nice a lot of practice. Piece of art. Yeah. They get to do that here. More you know? patience. Paul's, Paul, our anchor, is asking what happens if you make a mistake. You just go off of that or you could honestly just take it off. Okay. But you could... 
It would still look good. If it, <laughs> <laughs> abstract, I guess is what they call it. That hand, hand, done. hand done. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, Diane, the, the pinstriping that's on the Cadillac, where it's very, you know, just straight lines, sort of boxing out the, yeah. the doors and stuff, is that all freehand as well? Uh-huh. Yeah, so Lauren was asking the pinstriping along the box handle. Those were the original, Lauren, I was told. So if you look closely, they were working on the parts that were... Yeah, or yeah, it was, it's obviously years and years old. Some of you might have redone it, I, I can tell, maybe back in 70s, 80s. So over time, some of the spots have came off. So that's what we're doing, we're just touching up. We had to match the, the gray to it. And uh, I run a line there just for reference, but that, that was already touched up. But we're just touching it up and getting ready, getting ready for the show. This is the original paint you guys had it buffered right? and repainted, but, or um, <laughs> polished, but this is the original That's paint. That's what they say, yeah. I mean, it's hard to believe, but it is from 1913 lacquer. Amazing. Um, so wow. it's 109 years old. It's, a, it's, it's held up very great. I don't know, they must have had this thing in a bubble or something for it to, huh. to look this good. But it looks amazing. Wow. All right, Only Diane. we held up that well. Yes. One last thing, they're going to add the uh, convertible top before yeah. it heads off to Vegas, right? They should right? be here pretty soon. We're going we're to work on this today. Add the, the rag top to it, and some of the students are going to help with that, lend a hand, and they're going to see the process of how to, you know, put in all these nails and kind of do the upholstery thing, you know? Amazing work and an uh, interesting, um, you know, individual that would learn how to have a steady hand to go through oh, yeah. it, right? That takes yeah, art, talent and art, yeah. These guys are the dealerships. Left-handed ones and right-handed ones. So a left-handed guy would be on the on the one side of the car, the right-handed on the other. The car would go through the manufacturing, and they would just line cars all day. It was actually a job back then. Yeah. So amazing. Well, there you have it, guys. There you go. Thank Manny for us, Diane. You, Diane, just quickly, what is that car worth? Yes. What is that? I'm sorry. What was that? One more time. What is that car worth right now? The street value. What is this car worth? I think I keep hearing that it's worth about, about three hundred and sixty thousand, a, mil a that? million. Yeah, it's worth a lot of money. Wow. I mean, obviously, I, I can't afford it, so it's, all, it's a lot of money. Yeah. All right, Diane. Wow, Thank you. Yeah. Uh huh.